so i want to show you guys how to actually make changes to this uh project file so this project file so if you download this project file from my pip uh this is actually the final outro this is what you just have to change the test and render this thing out so if you go to final uh if you open it you can see you have your element 3d please don't delete any of this here so if you have your element 3d open the element 3d so this is the element 3d so uh and with this uh precomp don't also delete anything from this precomp just look for the test so this is the test all you have to do is just change the name so so this is it so you can also go into the element 3d solid and just go inside element 3 post and just make changes to this so if you don't want this type of texture you can also choose your texture you want like uh with uh, the lava bevel just go make sure you have some of this sh shaders so you can dive inside and change the color and you can see from here you can go for different uh, just choose any preset you want so for the texture if you open the texture this is the texture we use this is just an image i downloaded so if you go into your project you can see so look at the name fire uh, lava you just look so you can see it that's the image i use so this is the texture i use for that so if i go into so you can see it's turned off because this is the texture so if i go into my element 3d and i go to custom uh, text custom layers i'm going to custom text and max you can see this is the test and if i go to my custom texture max you can see this is the texture we selected that's the texture over there and make sure you always have effects and max added since we added some effect to it so if i open the texture let me show you something here so you can see i have caves and deep glow so these are the effects so if i don't turn on effect so if i don't select effects and max this is not going to work so this is it so this is the main comp where you change the test now just now open the second uh, uh project file i gave to you and this is actually where you are going to add the final outro to this so with this uh all you have to do is uh the portion of written put video here so the video you rendered from uh element 3 that's the outro you just have to just open this uh comp here and put the video put the video here and make a track mat so just put the video and select this and track it to the shape layer here and if you do that you are going to find your video here and that's all so that's all you have to do after that just render this out and that's your outro uh, so this is actual 24k john outro and this is actually his style so i'm just helping you guys on how to do it and how to create it actually don't know how he does his own but i think this is similar to what he does so make sure you don't uh, redistribute it just use it just for your edit and this is basically how to use the project file i provided in my pay hip so okay guys for the first effect i'm going to show you how uh, to add your text behind your your subject you just pre-compose the clip here so it is if you're having the goodbye plugin you can use this to key out the subject if you don't have this you're going to use the roto brush to do that so in case you're having the goodbye green screen turn off this so you can see uh the goodbye green screen did some job for us here since most of you don't have this plugin i'll go back to the older way of doing that so with this clip just go to your roto brush uh, double click inside your comp make sure this is a layer then we're going to start with uh, our maxing so uh just select this and make sure it makes some selection so 
to to reduce the size of your brush just hold control on your keyboard and left click to either reduce the size or make the size bigger so just hold control on your keyboard and use the left mouse to drag to make it bigger or smaller so if you see everything is good uh just this actually just a rough selection uh so just go to freeze and click on freeze and now let's go back into our main comp and now you can see we have our subject crop so now just turn on the the down layer and all we have to do is just add our text so i have i already have my element 3d test here so let me turn that on so you can see from here i have already have my test all we have to do is just place it between the two videos here so all we have to do is just make some animation with the test so with our test i'll just select our test here let me change the color like this didn't even speak english <laughs> didn't even speak english so with this now let's go to our position keyframe for our element 3d so hit p now make a keyframe send it to the side here now go to your element 3d go to your test and make it like this so we'll go back to our test here and reduce the size of our test so now we'll just place our our word here and all we have to do is just select our keyframe is the ease go to our graph and make this first graph like this now you can add motion blur to this so i'll select my video just add motion blur inside the test somewhere here so you can see the test is not revealing let's push it again go to our graph and with this graph we are going for something like this didn't even speak english <laughs> so this is very fast so i will send my keyframe just like so didn't even speak english <laughs> so now uh when it gets here i'm going to make another keyframe just going to bring our test back down here and i'm going to select that i'm going to make this fast graph like so didn't even speak english <laughs> So we're getting this type of animation. Didn't even speak English. <laughs> Didn't even speak English. <laughs> so now all we have to do is just add some effect to our text. So for our text here, I uh, will let's go to our element. Now look for V VHS. So it is. Uh, make sure you select news. And now uh, I'll add bevel and boss. Right click. Go to layer styles. Bevel and boss and now increase the sharpness now add the glow now let's go to our tent and make sure we select duo and choose uh you can either choose this color here or you can go for something like bluish you can also up, add the drop shadow so uh you can see from here this is what uh we are actually getting so you can see from here we are having some uh, uh part of our subject not selected well so this is because uh, i do not do an accurate selection so if you are doing it make sure you take your time to do this so now you, if you didn't even this, speak you english see, so you can see we are actually getting this so all we have to do is just add a uh, star glow so i'll shine can add red giant shine to this so this is the red giant and we can go to our our colorize and change the color you can go for usa so this is usa you can change uh, colors or you can also dive into the color preset when the test is about to pop up we are going to add a tint so add uh, an adjustment layer so just add your adjustment layer here then you add tint so with this uh, all you have to do is uh, make a keyframe for 100 then you come to this side whilst the test is still there and i'm going to change this to zero didn't even speak english and when you added our cc so you can see the difference here so uh you can see we have a much uh difference in the edit so you can see from here so basically this is uh how to add text or 3d text behind your subject and okay for the second effect i'm going to show you how you can add your logo or your watermark or your test so go to your tracker if you're not having a tracker go to windows and make sure you have 
uh, tracker turn on then this is my tracker now all we have to do is just go to uh, track motion uh, track motion and we have this option so to get the best track make sure your comp is on the highest quality so go to into your comp and turn on to full and now look for a, a spot on the subject and let's make the track so i'll start from here so with this i'll just uh put my track points so i'll put it somewhere on his nose here this dark side here sometimes if you just click on track it's going to do that automatically for you but some of the track will go off if it goes off then you have to do it manual so let's play and see what we'll get from here so you can see it's drifting off so all you have to do is just do it manual send it here good go some few frames so if you are down with your your tracking all you have to do is just create a new null object and we're going to give it a color like this color and we're going to call it track and on our video just go to your track option and just go to edit target and just select the track we just created hit on ok and go to apply and go to SNY hit on ok and with this all we have to do now you can see a track to our face so all we have to do now we just turn on our our test and we just parent this to our track data so parent our test to our track data and you can see our test is tracked so the only thing we have to do is just to our test here and just move our test to and we just have to just scale this down so s for scale you can scale down our test you can see our test is being tracked so we can move it to this side here and now all we have to do is just add so busy warp so that we can warp this uh, uh, to the angle you actually want this to be so for the warp we can go to left and right and try and make some changes here so for the busy warp all you have to do is just play with the angles and we can warp this so this is actually the first uh, 3d test we used we just changed the name so if you go back to our comp you can see we are getting this and you can still add deep glow to this and you can go to tint and change the tint so just play along with uh, the settings and choose uh, the settings you want okay guys so so actually this is how to attach a uh, either the logo or the watermark or anything the character is saying this is how to attach that type of word on your character if you guys have any other way to do this kindly let me know in the comment and i'll be grateful so actually this this is how to do this so you guys you can see this is actually tracked to our subject and this is uh, how to create this so if you're having any options or any opinion on how to do this this is actually not perfect but i'm just trying to show you guys how you can actually do this so guys thanks for watching this video give me a comment see you in my next video peace